hello. Welcome to another video. Today, we will be talking about some of Roblox's earliest events from 2007. Enjoy. This event began on January 17, 2007, and ended three days later on January 20, 2007. The event consisted of making furniture for the happy home in Robloxia, which is a classic home that is recognizable to many Roblox users. To enter the contest, you would make a piece of furniture, and then turn it into a model using Roblox Studio. Users would then need to post a link to their model in the Homestead contest thread, which was located in the Creations Forum. After this, the models would be judged by Telemon for creativity, construction, attention to detail, and attention to scale. As well as this, the first player to post a decent description in the thread would automatically get 3 bonus points for their build. The winners of the contest were Mike with a widescreen TV, Police Modeler with a table and chairs, Mr. Doombringer, Tojiku, Anaminus, Rox25, Kadi, Kupa, and Dr. Waffles. The event was only planned to have one winner, but Telemon stated that the creator of any model that was actually used would win. The winners got to customize their avatar, keep in mind that this was before actual avatar customization. The players could choose anything, and they just had to submit it as a model. Some players made their body and transparent, and Mike even made his gold. In the end, the event was a success, and all the winners got their prize. This event began on March 11, 2007, and ended six days later, on March 17, 2007. The event, which was actually held due to popular demand, was to build a wonder of the world. Only four people could win. To enter, players actually had to make new accounts with the phrase WWC in the username. They had to build either an actual wonder of the world, or a new one that would fit the world of Roblox. This time, instead of judging by administrators, players got to decide. The winners would be chosen by whichever places had the highest number of visits. There was a total of 55 finalists, 26 of which had under 10 place visits. The winners were WWC Fox 1 with 871 visits on their game Statue of Zeus at Olympus, WWC Builder with 830 visits on their game Samurai Fortress, WWC Pyramids with 598 visits to their game The Great Pyramid of Robloxia, and WWC R92 with 496 visits on their game Wonder of World Pyramid. Each winner would receive a real-life t-shirt with a picture of their game on the back. Funnily enough, the back of the example shirt spells headquarters wrong, instead spelling it as headquarters. In the end, this was another successful event with excellent games to go along with it. This event began on April 4, 2007 and ended a week later on April 11, 2007. This was one of the simpler events in 2007. Players had to make a billboard image and send it to Shed Let's Guys email. The images had to be 256 by 128 pixels. They were judged by humor, composition, and graphic appeal. The judges were the members of the Roblox team, including FF Josh and Mr. Doombringer. There were five winners, which as far as I know, were kept secret. Keep in mind that these were most likely different images than the ones used in the famous map Crossroads. The winners received early access to Builders Club, the earlier version of Roblox Premium. This was before it was actually released to the public. In the end, this was a short and sweet event to be remembered by many. This event began on June 2, 2007, and eight days later, ended on June 10, 2007. 
The purpose of this event was to build a domino rally. Entering the event required users to again, make a new account. This time, they had to use the phrase DRBC before their username. There were originally supposed to be three main winners. This was later changed to nine due to the fact that so many people participated in the event. Along with this, there were four YouTube video winners, which were separate from the main winners. Judging for the games was based on visits again, although this would be the final time judging would be this way. It would later be changed due to people visiting their own games to get higher visits. Due to the number of winners, I will not state them. The prizes came in three tiers for wherever you placed on the leaderboard. First place, also known as Gold, got 5000 Robux, Builders Club, and the very rare Domino Crown. Second place, also known as Silver, got 2000 Robux, and a Domino Crown. Finally, third place, also known as Bronze, got 1000 Robux and a Domino Crown. Nowadays, the Domino Crown is a fabled item which only has 13 owners and is worth millions. In the end, this was another very great event, and changed all to come after it. This event began on July 3rd, 2007, and ended a week later on July 10th, 2007. The event consisted of players buying lottery tickets for 10 Robux each and hoping that they would win. Each user could only purchase one ticket, and by the end, the final reward was 2,500 Robux. The winners were picked using a random number generator, making the event truly luck-based. The first place winner, Sara867, won the jackpot of 2,500 Robux. In second place, Chris2245 won 1,000 Robux. The third place winner, Helper won 500 Robux. As a joke, the staff also chose a runner-up who would win just one Robux. This user ended up being Shipper55. In the end, this was a fun event. This event began on July 13, 2007 and ended 9 days later on July 22, 2007. As hinted at by the name, the goal of the contest was to make a funny video with Roblox footage. To judge, Roblox chose 17 players to choose their top 3 videos. There would be 3 winners, each getting a different prize. First place was given to JJ5X5 with his video Roblox Gone Crazy. This is the only surviving video from this contest as the others are no longer accessible. He won a custom hat, which he chose to make a black and white top hat, as well as 1000 Robux. Second place was given to Nintendo Boy with his video Roblox Randomness. He won 500 Robux. In third was Justin P231 with his video When N00BS Fly. He won 250 Robux. In the end, this was a funny contest with some good prizes. This event began on July 24, 2007, and lasted until August 17, 2007, becoming the longest running Roblox event yet. The event was a tournament bracket with 32 teams. Each team had 5 players, but only 4 could play. Each team had a name, such as Super Breaks, or Rouges of Robloxia. Adding on to this, they each got a team color to represent themselves with. Some teams even got their own visor hats for people to show support for them. Each match would consist of two 15 minute long halves, with a 2 minute break between them. The winner of each match would be decided by points, which I will explain now. Getting a knockout, would grant your team 10 points. Getting a wipeout, would make your team lose 4 points. Killing your own team would make you lose 8 points. Finally, for standing in the middle of the map, you would get 2 points every 6 seconds. After long battles, 
the final results were posted to the Roblox blog. In first place, Super Mario Strikers won, with each team member getting 2,500 Robux, Builders Club, a paintball gun, and a t-shirt. In second place, Rogues of Robloxia won 1,000 Robux each, a paintball gun, and a t-shirt. In third place, Super Bricks won, getting 500 Robux each, and a t-shirt. The top 5 placers also won the paintball tournament trophy. In the end, this was the largest event on Roblox at the time, and one to remember. This event began on August 17, 2007 and lasted until August 26, 2007. This time, the event was a sword fighting contest. There were a total of three rounds with four winners in the end. An account named Grand Melee was created specifically to make sword fighting arenas for the event. Players who participated were ranked by their kill to death ratio. Only knockouts and wipeouts from the three games were counted for the event. Round 1 had the most players and took place on an empty base plate. 50 knockouts were required to pass to round 2. The people with the highest kill to death ratio were brought to round 2. Round 2 had 64 players, and again took place on an empty base plate. This time, 25 knockouts were required. 48 players were eliminated, leaving the final 16 for the last map. Round 3 had 16 players and took place at the Grand Melee Coliseum. Instead of knockouts, this was simply rated by the highest kill to death ratio. 12 players were eliminated leaving the 4 winners of the event. A mini event within this event was also hosted named the Sportscaster Video Contest. Players could record the finals, and the winner would get 500 Robux. Every winner received the Clio's app hidden. First place went to Kuka. Their prizes were 12 months of Builders Club the Black Iron Crown of Ponage, and a hat of their choosing from the Avatar Shop. Second place went to Cheezapop. Their prizes were 6 months of Builders Club and a hat of choice. Third place went to Stealth Pilot. They won 3 months on Builders Club 500 Robux and 1000 tickets. Fourth place went to NuberTuber who won one month of Builders Club and 500 Robux. Finally, the winner of the mini event was Dark Wolf 1, with a 500 Robux bonus. In the end, this event was great and gave players a chance to show their skill in sword fighting. This event began on September 11, 2007, and ended on October 3, 2007. As said by the title, this was a building event for Halloween. To enter, players had to create an account with the letters RSBC and make their game on the account. There were numerous categories, all of which I will go over soon. Alongside the main contest, there was a video contest. This challenged players to either make a video about the main contest, or tell a Halloween story in Robloxia. Now, I will go over the winner for each category. First, best place with less than 200 bricks. The winner was Stealth Pilot with their game Humanoid Harvester Horror. Next, the cutest place. The winner was Layla Bukhart's Robloxia's largest pumpkin. The winner for most horrifying was Game Hero with their place The Cursed House. For Halloween Capture the Flag, PRG won with Shadows of the Dark. Then, for the most clever script and best use of zombies, Gamer3D's place the living dead one. The winner for best Halloween model was Sirloin and their place models. The most atmospheric graveyard category was won by Toazuku's abstract grave place. Winner for the creepiest tree model was Koopa's graveyard. Finally, the winner for scariest monster was R92. All winners received 6 months of Builders Club a contest exclusive hat, and 1000 Robux. 
Gamer3D received 12 months of Builders Club The Hat and 2000 Robux for winning two categories. The first place winner for the video contest was Flaskjurtha and their Roblox Bloopers Halloween Special Part 1. In the end, this was yet another fun contest with lots of winners. This event was held from October 29, 2007 to October 31, 2007. Unfortunately to normal users of Roblox, this event was exclusive to Builders Club members only. To enter the game, players had to have the Halloween Lorebook 1, as well as have Builders Club. To win in the game, you had to find 12 Lorebooks scattered around the map. The map was a modified version of the Haunted Hill created by Shedlet Sky in 2006. The prize for winning was the Crimson Katsy, which could also be purchased for 50,000 tickets. In the end, this was another short yet sweet event. This event began on November 29, 2007 and ended on December 24, 2007. The event had two phases. Phase 1 was based on hints from the Roblox administrators. Phase 2 was on the catalog where people who missed Phase 1 could simply purchase the gifts. During Phase 1, each gift had a clue and a way to get them. I will go over each gift and how to get them, their price during Phase 2, and what they opened up into. The shiny blue gift of niceness was obtained by not getting banned for 3 or more days. It cost 50 Robux and opened up into the Christmas baseball cap. The black iron gift of Ponage was obtained by having the Bloxer batch. It cost 200 Robux and opened up into the Helm of Secret Fire. The elite gift of Hacks 0R was obtained by sending the user John Carmack a message. It cost 400 Robux and opened up into the Night Vision goggles. The speckled gift of pink explosion was obtained by owning any pink hat. It cost 100 Robux and opened up into the pink winter cap. The Wanwood gift of tree hugger was obtained by having the word tree anywhere on your profile. It cost 300 Robux and opened up into the Wanwood antlers. The glittering gold gift of fame was obtained by having 1337 plus profile views. It cost 250 Robux and opened up into the Sparkle Time Fedora. The inscrutable white gift of the Primes was obtained if your user ID had a Prime number. It cost 75 Robux and opened up into the failed proofs of the Riemann Hypothesis. The bombastic gift of Awesome was obtained by using the word Awesome. It cost 90 Robux and opened up into the Ninja Mask of Awesome. The agonizingly ugly gift of full inbox was obtained by having 100 plus messages. It cost 125 Robux and opened up into the agonizingly ugly bucket of doom. Finally, the Azure gift of Builder was obtained by having the Homestead batch. It cost 80 Robux and opened up into the Builder Master headband. Sorry for basically saying the same things over and over, haha. <laughs> Anyways, in the end, this event was quite a fun hunt and gave players something to do for the holiday season. This event took place from December 13, 2007 to January 8, 2008. The contest was to build a winter-themed building. To enter, players had to build a skating pond, a snow fort, a ski lift, ice sculptures, sleds, or gifts under trees. According to the Roblox blog, the judges would rate by originality, winteriness, fun, awesomeness, and popularity. After making a build, users would email them to Roblox for one of two things. They would either email for the competing class, which gave prizes, or the showing class, which was just to show off your build. The 34 winners from the competing class won the Ice Crown and 1,200 Robux. All other users in the competing class got the Helm of the Frozen North. In the end, this was a nice building event to end off the events in 2000.